welcome back to my channel this is stuff's got it and I want to do an review slash unboxing today of a product it's the same product I did an unboxing of this product a couple of months ago and I have been carrying it around and you know this is an honest channel so there have been some issues okay and <laughs> I was on Amazon and occasionally I'll get questions um, for a product that I've purchased and I will try to answer those questions if I can if it's a product that I've actually unboxed and opened and used <laughs> I will try to go ahead and answer the question as honest and best as I can and this happened to be one of the ones that was sitting in my inbox for questions and once I answered the questions the program prompted me to do a review and usually I try to wait a couple of months out before I give a review because I want it to be I hate a review that is oh I just ordered it came in the mail on time and it, it looks pretty good but I haven't tried it yet that's not a review you know it's telling me that the shipping was was quick and easy and it came quickly and it came well wrapped that's great if that's what your purpose is but if I want to know about the product I need you to actually open the freaking package and use it okay all right so I like to wait a couple of months before I give a review of a product, which is what I've kind of set up for this channel, is to unbox it, use the product for a couple of months, and then come back and give you a review of how that product is, if I will continue to use it, and what problems I've had with it. And honey, that's what we're going to get to today. So, I have the original product, and then I have the new product. Now let me tell you quickly before I put you down to the cutting table to the product why it is I have another one to review. So let me get comfortable here. I ordered this bag. I absolutely love it. If you have not seen the unboxing for this bag, it's a diaper bag slash I'm using it for a purse, backpack style. So if you've not seen the unboxing for this bag, I will have it in the iCard over there and you can go check it out. Um, I was very excited about this bag. When I did the Amazon review, I mentioned some of the problems I had with the bag and uh, mainly the big problem, actually I think really the only problem I've had with this bag is that it ripped. Let's see if I can another unboxing undone oh ouch <laughs> this is this that is a hole in the bag and you see the inside of the bag you see it's coming apart where that hole is the fabric started to shred and that would make that the ins meant that the inside shredded as well as the inside the lining shredded so my hand can go hey y'all through the purse and come out on the other side. It started as a little hole here. And then it began to shred. And once it shredded, it started moving across the bag. And I have been walking around town, y'all, with this raggedy bag. So I could be honest in telling you how long it took for this hole to move across this bag. It did not happen overnight. So I carried this bag for a month, maybe two months, and this started. And then it worked its way across. And I will show you later close-ups, but you the bag is shredding, the fabric is shredding. It didn't it's not just coming apart from the core of the bag. It is the the fabric itself is fraying. It's it's fraying out. So it's shredding. I call that shredding. And which means there's nothing you can do with this. Now, since I make bags and purses, I could have sewn this back together. But that's not my job to do. I pay for a bag and I want it to work for a substantial amount of time before it becomes my problem to to make adjustments to the bag, right? So in my Amazon review, 
I shot a very bad video and I say that it's a bad video because I was shot it with my computer camera and not my recording camera and but I wanted them to see how my hand goes through the bag and in the comments I say that hey I make purses and wallets and I could have easily repaired the bag except the fabric is shredding and that makes it a little more difficult if not impossible to repair the bag because the, the, the thread is spreading all out so it's only a little bit of it up there in that spot so it's not like I could just move past that it would change dramatically how the bag operates and it probably would just shred again um I didn't say all of that but I said the basic the very beginning of what I said it, the bag shredded blah 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 I could have fixed it but blah 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 so the company saw the, re the review and contacted me they apologized well they didn't apologize they said we want to help you by sending you a replacement bag we value your opinion and your expertise in this area and we would like to help you out by sending you a replacement bag immediately now although I appreciate the replacement bag immediately the wording kind of ticked me off a little because you aren't helping me this is your product that I bought and had less than three months and it completely is breaking falling apart at the core so by giving me a replacement bag you aren't helping me you're standing behind your product and I did mention that I have a, a YouTube channel that I open, unboxed so I get that you want me to do the same thing to unbox it and to speak about your customer service and all that and I get that I don't mind at all but that kind of rub rubbed me the wrong way we would like to help you out by giving you another bag to help you blah 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 anyway I've rented enough like I said if you want to see all the gloriousness about this bag you can go check out the unboxing that will be in the iCard over there and see this really is an awesome bag and I have loved my experience with it and as you can see I'm still walking around town carrying this raggedy bag so today I get to open the new one and re move everything out of here and into the other one and just to, so you see how much I'm using it all right so I've got you down to look at the bag just really quickly uh, you can see there's a pocket here I keep my Altoids and Tic Tac and charge uh, charging cord and um, I'll tell you about the charging cord too and my little eyeglass cleaner here this pocket I have wipes and uh, eh, my wig bed <laughs> and uh, sprays and oils and lotions and this is coffee grinds. If you're a migraine sufferer and you are set off by smells, a lady at church gave me this and it's coffee gr grounded coffee grinds. And she said whenever a smell upsets me or, or sets my migraine off, to smell the coffee grinds. So I always carry that with me. And my cheap buds that work sometimes and not other times and my doTERRA breathe stick so I've got you know a decent amount of stuff in there a Krispy Kreme gift certificate <laughs> and then there's another pocket here I've got pins and combs sticky notes my doTERRA little um, inhalers your spray oil in there that works good I have my balance oil in there and let's see and then you have your side pockets I keep my little drawing journal uh, sketchbook in there oh no I lied here's my sketchbook and you can see that there's a hole here for if you have Kleenex I keep the Kleenex behind the sketchbook 
And remember me going all gaga crazy over this charging port? Well, it's not the best. It was doing the job in the beginning, but I don't know what happened. It just didn't survive or the cords or whatever. I don't know. And you can see, let's see. I love the straps and I absolutely love these. I didn't think I would use them, but you can see they're unsnapped because I used them right before I did this video to snap them onto the cart. Sometimes I let it hang from the cart. Other times I just snap it in the cart to secure the bag so that it can't be easily picked up and ran off with. That back pocket, you can see I have my journal, my bullet journal, my Bujo, which I am not carrying this year. My planner this year is a happy planner, so you'll get to see some of that. And you can see it's stuffed with all kind of little bags with personal items, cell phone items, lipsticks, cones, little mini umbrella. So I got a lot in this bad boy. My scalp massager, <laughs> um, my combs, which are good for when I have my different hair pieces, wigs. I don't know why I have that in there. My doTERRA Digest Zen, my doTERRA Tri-Ease, I cannot live without. This is new, that's why the tag is still on it for um, one of my other um, sets of hair, but uh, my Her Given Hair hair, but now that I'm doing these, her boho locks for a minute, I don't need that. A pineapple, pina, col pina colada popsicle that I've had, I mean, blow pop lollipop I've had forever and a day. I don't know why I keep changing it from purse to purse and never using it. A rat tail comb to get those parts straight. A pair of disposable chopsticks. A prune that has been ugh, flattened. Ugh. Um, a bunch of loose napkins. What's up there? Alright, so that's all that's loose in the bottom. And a dime. <laughs> <laughs> and this back flap does have flap does have a pocket in which I have my emergency sewing kit and my hotel key from Zumba Convention Hotel and that's about it. So in this side you can see in the inside. I hope so. In the inside you can see in these pockets over here I've got. My fans, um, lint roller, hand sanitizer, and this little purse I have. My doTERRA Motivate Oil, my doTERRA Breathe, and doTERRA Peppermint Beadlets. All right. Oh, and I had the hand sanitizer in here as well, but I took it out earlier to use it. I've got my little bottle of spray oil, because sometimes you get ashy out here in these streets, so you got to be able to address that. My tripod, camera tripod, where's the other leg? My tripod stick. My ca uh, camera holder for the tripod. Another one of these cute little fish, koi fish bag, which just has all of my charging supplies. And I'm going to show you. That's empty. Hmm. There's a couple more loose coins. There are a couple more loose coins. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. So in that zipper, the same one that has the charging port. The, the char this is a charging port that has to stay connected to the bags. Does that come off? No. Okay. I think that's a slow charger. It takes forever to charge. And you have to provide your own battery to go inside the bag for this to hook up to. And I have taken both of mine out. Um, shapes, cover for my glasses, my business cards for, for dancing and Zumba, my Eco Lip Chop, 
my cocoa butter I've been carrying for years, my Dasani pineapple coconut drops I've been carrying for years, my, let's see, Coculus Indicus, Indicus, it's a um, promotion sickness, it's natural herbal thing, promotion sickness, and a card of some sort, oh, a hotel card, hmm. So you can see this bag can carry a lot and you can see it wasn't even full lots of loose change it wasn't even full oh and this little zipper is where I carry my wallet which is one of mine I did make it and I've made it and it's lasted it was actually my mock-up for when I first started making these so I didn't quite like it because I did it a little wonky right there. So I decided to just keep it and use it myself. And I've been using it for three or four years now. And as you can see, it's holding up beautifully. Yeah. So I'm part of a club that had these patterns in it. So there, you can see I get a lot in this bag. And there's one more thing I have to add to it this year. And that's my planner. But I would like to distribute things a little differently. I don't want to. Um, and although I say it's a lot of stuff, really it's not. I mean, this is practically empty. It just has like personal female stuff. So, and you can see there's not even anything in there because I don't use paper things. I make my I make my own pads. Um, I sell my own pads and. Uh, I have crochet washcloths in here, so it's, I mean, it's just flimsy, it's not heavy. This might be the heaviest thing, is this mini umbrella. Not much in there. So that's, this is it, okay? And that's just a bunch of little small jibbery jibbery stuff. You can see that's just a bunch of little small jibbery stuff. Nothing really huge for the bag, all right? So we are going to try this new bag and see how it works. And just so you know it's the same bag, let's open it up and let you get a good look at it. I want to say thank you for watching my channel and for watching my unboxings and reviews. It is the basis of this channel. And I appreciate you supporting that. So here it is again. Yep. All right. Let's open it up. Ugh. Ugh. I've got an unbagging for these boho locks and that whole journey process of installation. You got your straps, there's your pocket, same pocket, same lining, there's your charger, the logo's a tad bit different, it's the same but on here it's just a rectangle of three rows of little squared holes. This one is a triangle and has one, two, three, four rows of circle holes. Okay, so don't know what that means, but there's already a thread right there loose, but that doesn't have to be a big deal. Life with more love. Mainly made from polyester mixed cotton made in China. And again, if memory serves me, this is waterproof. From the okay there's your cord looks like a more decent cord than the other one was and same amount of pockets dear friend thank you so much for your order hope you looks like the same bag and I'm excited to try it and I will follow up with you guys in another three boats and let you know how this bag is doing and it should be a much shorter review and I hope you will join me as I tell you that I hope this bag has done a 
beautiful job and it has maintained all right so thank you so much for joining my channel if you have not subscribed and you have been watching for a while let me ask you to please go ahead and click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime that i upload a video if you found this video to be useful please give it a thumbs up and if you thought that it wasn't very useful you didn't really care for it you are always free to give it a thumbs down you do you boo okay i would hope you'd give it a thumbs up though <laughs> it helps the channel it helps to inspire me to keep pressing forward and to keep trying to bring you good products good content more importantly thank you so much for joining me today i hope that you have a beautiful weekend have lots of fun things to do and remember if you are having a good day help someone else have a good day it only takes a little Love and shimmies, babe.